time now for the latest on local sports and sports. We've got Braves baseball today as the Braves host the Chicago Cubs for the next three days. It's a nice game right here on Big Dog Country. <clears throat> FM 105.5, first pitch at 720. Wayne County High School baseball team headed to Monday's Mill in Jonesburg for Wednesday's doubleheader. It's the first round of the state playoffs in 5A. 32 teams enter, one team walks away the state championship. Wayne County, the three seed from Region 1. The Tigers of Monday's Mill, the two seed from Region 3. Again, the doubleheader set for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Mark Pregame will get underway at 3.50. Game two set for 40 minutes after game one. The if game set for Thursday at 4 p.m. Winner of this series meets the winner of the St. Pius Woodland Cartersville series. Round two begins a week from today. Other teams in the bracket, again, Wayne County at Monday's Mill, <clears throat> Woodland Cartersville at St. Pius, Chapel Hill at Appalachie, Union Grove at Whitewater, Jonesboro at Coffee. Chambly at Cartersville, Greenbrier at Jackson of Atlanta, McIntosh at Ola, Forest Park at Ware County, Southwest of Cab at Blissett Trinity, Midtown at Loganville, Jones County at Harris County, Veterans at Woodward Academy, Calhoun at Decatur, Jackson County at North Springs, and Stars Mill at Locust Grove. Again, if you win round one, you get to the Sweet 16. You win round two, you get to the Elite Eight. Again, round two begins a week from today. Other teams in the area in state baseball playoff action in AAA. Pierce County's been ranked number one all year. They're going to be at home hosting Johnson of Savannah. Appling County won the two seed from that region. They will host Windsor Forest. The three team is Long County. They're on the road at Liberty. And Brantley County, the four team, they'll be at Southeast Bullock. That taking place in AAA. And Paul Glass in AA, again, will be hosting round one as well. They host West Side of Augusta this week. Wayne County High School golf teams won the region championship. They'll compete at a state event on May 16th and 17th at the Okie Finoke Golf Course. Still a few more matches before they head to state. They will be at the Pine Forest Country Club this afternoon hosting Pierce County. Then Friday they'll host Applin County at the Country Club. Again, a couple of chances to come out and follow these talented young men. On the golf course, again, the match today begins at 3.30 this afternoon. Wayne County track teams in region action today. Over in Ware County, that begins today at 3.30. 22nd Annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament set for this Saturday, April 30th. Shotguns start at 8.30 at the Pine Forest Country Club. Still time to sign your team up. Call the Pro Shop at 427-6505 or call Raymond Brown at 588-1010. NFL Draft just two days away. The Jacksonville Jaguars have the overall number one pick. Word is it's down to either Aiden Hutchinson, the defensive end from Michigan, or Trayvon Walker, the defensive end out of Georgia. Most believe it's Walker from Georgia, which Detroit at number two will be happy with as they'll get the local kid, Aiden Hutchinson, from Detroit, Michigan. Nothing definite as the Jags still not letting out who they're selecting, which tells you why they're always picking number one. Because for years after year, they show they have no clue when it comes to the draft. Falcons sitting at number eight. Or in Atlanta, they're looking to, for teams to, that are looking to move up. The Falcons stay at the number eight spot. Word in Atlanta is they will take either a wide receiver or one of those talented defensive players on the board. Falcons interested in the quarterback, but they say they'll wait till round two before selecting a quarterback. The coaching staff high on Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral. They think he'll slip the second round for their number two pick. Again, the NFL draft set for Thursday in Las Vegas. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.